Go Racing. Go online. Go Racing.ie. Horse Racing Ireland's official website. Hello and welcome to the Horse Racing Ireland Racing Preview with me Sarah Barton and my colleague Martin Murphy. Today we're looking at racing at Dan Patrick on Sunday the 12th of August which is a seven race card and the first is off at 2.35 but we're going to go straight to the second race on the day which is off at 3.05 and that's the winner all right hurdle. A field of nine uh, lined up in this race and it's quite a competitive race but I'm going to select Gold Ability who actually won over two miles at Galway last week and had won a bumper at Downpatrick and, and also um, the second at Downpatrick over hurdles in July so I think that's pretty good form and obviously um, likes the track at Downpatrick. Which is very important of course Sarah because Downpatrick is a unique track, mm. very undulating and with a stiff uphill finish. Gold Ability certainly has a very strong chance he showed tremendous bat- battling qualities when getting the better uh, of a, a good battle with two scoops last week at Galway, and that was a pretty good performance. Uh, certainly will take a lot of beating. The ground will be a, little, a good bit quicker, I think, today mm. than it was last week in Galway, and obviously, you know, he, he can handle that. Young Robbie Coughlin rides him, and he certainly has strong credentials. However, he was beaten there by a horse called Zerishan, trained by Desi Hughes, at Town Patrick a couple of runs ago. And what Zerishan went on and finished fourth to Kalachan at, at uh, Galway last week as well. This Zerishan, I think, uh, under Davy Russell, I'm going to go for him to confirm placings with gold ability. And what is, as you said, a very competitive contest. Uh, Zerishan loves good ground, which he will get on Sunday. And I think, you know, he's the type of horse that was a very good horse in the flat. Mm. Took his time to take to get to the hurdles, but he kept running a soft ground during the winter, which he didn't like. As soon as the good ground was arrived now, he's a different horse. And I think he just good might results. be good goal ability. O'Connell's Pike is another one there, probably worth to mention and maybe Spring Hawk as well and what is a very good race but to me I'm going to go for Zerishan to beat Gold Ability this time. Great so we'll move on then to the fourth race on the day which is off at 4.05 and that's the Rosebank Handicap Hurdle rated 81 to 116 run over two miles two and 50 yards. My selection in this is for the Philly No Delay and um, her last two runs haven't been overly inspiring finish, finishing eighth and I think 18th but she does have a good record at Downpatrick over this trip with two wins and two seconds coming over over this trip and on good ground, so I would hope that she would uh, show have another bowl showing on, on Sunday. Well, yes, and I think you're right there about the good ground. I think that's the key to her, really. Uh, trained by Callum McBratney, the fact that she's won over this course as well, I would expect her to go well again under Andrew McNamara, although she does have joint top weight. Mm. Lower down the weights there, I do like Grand Opera, trained by Sarah Dawson. This one was a surprise winner under Samantha Bell last week on the flat at Galway last yeah. Saturday. Now, obviously, uh, he, was, he used to be trained by Gordon Elliott, this Grand Opera, and does like good ground as well. So I expect a good run from that one. But the one I'm going to actually tip here is a horse called Wall Street Wally, trained by Noel Mead, ridden by Davy Condon. This one also won his maiden hurdle at Downpatrick on his last run. And it's, it's some decent form as well. Again, I think the key to him is the good ground. So for me, Wall Street Wally, in receipt of £10 from no delay, is the one that gets my vote. And a great name to boot, so I'm sure all the people who punt <laughs> yes. on names will Certainly probably select that. him. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll go on then to the sixth race on, on Sunday's card, and that's off at 5.05. And it's the Keeping a Country Handicap Hurdle, rated 80 to 95, run over two miles seven. My selection in this is for a drum lister for the Arthur Moore yard. Um, his, his, his results last year weren't, weren't great, but they were all on soft, heavyish ground. Absolutely. He's got the good ground on his last three runs, although over fences he has, I mean, seems to be flourishing, winning on two occasions, and then no second at Downpatrick then Absolutely. as well. Yeah. Um, do you think he'd have the same form back over hurdles on the good ground? Well, th- I think the key to this one is he's running off a rating of just 82, but over fences now he's running off 105. So he's £23 lower, and obviously I think we'll start favourite here. I think right about the ground, it's really turned him inside out. It's the typical Arthur Moore horse, late developer, now improving an awful lot. And under Barry Cash, I think he'll be a strong favourite on Sunday, and should take an awful lot of beating. However, again, I like the each way kind of value here in Craig's dream, trained by Michael Horgan. This one has run, run well twice at Limerick. Uh, he finished fourth on his last two starts there. Again, as soon as the ground gets better, he seems to be improving mm-hmm. an awful lot. Young Adrian Heskins riding plenty of winners at the moment and is in terrific form. He just might be a bit of each way value against the likely favourite, which of course is Drum Lister. Another one worth mentioning is Maduma. Uh, he certainly has won well as well yeah. uh, in recent times and could be a good each, each way bet as well, at these, you know, maybe 10 to 1 or so. There is you know, 15 runners in the race, but it's all about Drum Lister and can he tran- transfer that chase form to hurdle form. Perfect. And for me, I think Craig's dream just might be a bit of value against them. Yeah, and Martin's always great for giving value in races. Now, elsewhere on the card, I know you're a fan of the Gordon Elliott runner, Bondage, who runs again on Sunday. Yeah, in the 4.35, he's going to take an awful lot of beating here, Sarah. It's surprising he's still a maiden over hurdles. He was a decent flat horse, and he ran very well in second to, uh, to a horse called Novaroff, 
at Galway yeah. last week. Stays very well. Never really got into contention that occasion, but Novaraf is a very, very improved horse. Mm-hmm. And you know, finishing second him is certainly no disgrace. He looks good enough to beat uh, King Malik here in what looks a weak enough race to 4.35. And then the final race, the 5.35 race, interesting that Patrick Mullins goes up to raise a horse called Dove Galair, trained by Kevin O'Donnell. He actually rode the same horse at Wexford two weeks ago when she was toured in her debut at Wexford on good, fast ground. So I think a re- reproduction of that effort will see her home in front here. I think she should have been there, yeah. Okay, so we'll sum up our selections then at Dan Patrick on Sunday. In the second race off at of 3.05, I've selected Gold Ability with Martin opting for Zerashan. In the 4.05, I've selected No Delay with Martin opting for Wall Street Wall- Wally, but also has given a mention for a Grand Opera. In the 4.35, Martin thinks bondage will be hard to be beaten. And in the 5.05, I've opted for Arthur Moore's Drum Lister, with Martin selecting Craig's Dream. And in the bumper, um, pa- Patrick Mullen goes up to ride Dove Galair and should be a tough one to beat. So next week, we'll be looking at Tremor on Saturday and also Tremor on Sunday and Dundalk. So until then, enjoy the racing and thanks for watching. Go Racing. Go online. GoRacing.ie. Horse Racing Ireland's official website.